Research papers almost always have a works cited page, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It means that each of the sources that are listed on the works cited page appear in the paper. They're listed alphabetically, they're double spaced, and they have what is called a hanging indent. That means that any line after the first line is indented five spaces. Has to be done this way, or you will not be at target for this particular skill. One of our goals for this class is also to be able to write an annotated bibliography. So let's talk about the difference between a works cited and a bibliography. Well, we already talked about the fact that a works cited are pieces that are actually cited in the work, and a bibliography typically is the breadth of reading or research that you did on a particular topic, even materials that you don't cite in the paper. So that becomes important for scholarly work because Researchers want to know how much you read and the survey of knowledge that you had in putting together the particular paper. So an annotated bibliography is a citation, just like what you would put on your works cited page, but then it goes into an analysis of the piece itself. So for our purposes, we ask you to use the standard rhetorical praise to set up the argument and then add a sentence or two at the end which really describes the strengths and weaknesses of this piece in relationship to what you're going to be writing. This is very beneficial for you in your college over the course of your college years because you may write a paper your freshman year and you want to go back and find research that you did for that paper and you can't remember exactly what it was but you go back to the paper itself and you have that material and a description of what that piece is, is about. It's also beneficial to others who read your paper because they can look at the, this um, analysis or this abstract and understand um, the strengths and weaknesses of the paper and they may want to use this in their research as well. The final document we provided you gives you the database login information for your scholarly research. Now I know Crash Course says use Wikipedia because you can use the links at the bottom of the page and surely that is true if you don't have better resources, but you do. So we have access to JSTOR, which is a, a wonderful database for academic research, Heartland AEA as well. And if you use Heartland AEA, they have EBSCO, Gale, and SIRS as a part of that. You can also use Google Scholar or Microsoft Academic. Those are free search engines, but they limit um, the scope to more academic kinds of research. JURN is another free source that you can use, or the Directory of Open Access Journals. Honestly, if you do your work, you're going to find specialty sources um, for your particular areas. So you get into those scholarly research resources. Down here is again an example of a scholarly journal versus a professional or a trade journal versus popular magazines. Make sure you know the difference. And then finally, um, down here is a way to look at um, the different kinds of, it, of resources and to look at the author contact, find the abstract and the method that was being used for the research. Um, Purdue Online Writing Lab has some tips uh, to find before citing electronic sources, and you can always ask us if you have any questions.